Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Yes, as you know already, the Black Stars of Ghana will play against South Korea on Monday. In fact, this is a must-win game for the Black Stars of Ghana. Coach Otoado has already said that we need to win even though the match is going to be tough. And yes, the match will be tough, but Black Stars of Ghana needs to win in order to qualify. So Monday, 1 p.m. at the Education City Stadium, it is going to be the Black Stars of Ghana versus South Korea. What is your prediction? Who is winning on Monday? I believe strongly that the Black Stars of Ghana's team that we saw against Portugal, we are going to see a different team all together, giving us a victory on this Monday. Now, in this video, we are going to talk about the best lineup that Ghana can actually use against South Korea. The game against Portugal, we did so, but there was about three changes that Coach Tuado did, but he used similar formation that we gave. Even though we started the game with 5 4 1 of H, it actually varies to a 3 5 2 kind of formation, but he made about three changes in the possible one that we gave here. On this channel so in this video we are going to look at the best players that they can play looking at the game against Portugal which players can actually help the black stars of Ghana before we talk about mine don't forget to also drop yours your best 11 in the comment section so let's get into it before then can you drop us a like after that you smash on the subscribe button put on the bell for more updates on this channel now with my starting 11, I'm going to give two different ones because we know Coach Otoaro is a surprising coach. He can surprise us with anything. But Otoaro, this time around, if you want to surprise us, surprise us with, you know, the lineup that we are all going to be happy with. Because, in fact, we want to win this game. We don't want any kind of lackluster performance from the stars or anything. Yes. So, let me begin by giving you my first 11, the first one that I chose. The first one. I chose to go with the 352 formation. 352. And with this kind of formation, yes, I think it's going to help Ghana. Looking at how South Korea will also line up against Ghana. Yes, South Korea were sitting deep against Uruguay, of which that match ended goalless. Ghana, we unfortunately lost three goals to two to Portugal. So we need to go all out. We do not have a point here. South Korea has one. They can actually come and worry us in a lot. So I think. If we play the three back, then five man midfield, then two out front, we can attack more. Because this game, we have to attack. Yes, even though we need to be cautious attacking, but we have to attack. Now, with this kind of formation, I'm going to start with Atizigi in post. Atizigi, I think right now, you um, you can actually agree that he is now turning out to be our number one goalkeeper. Even though he, he was scored thrice in a game against Portugal, but his performance was okay facing Cristiano Ronaldo. He did well, and I think Atiziki could continue in this particular game as well as the number one. Then, with the three man back, you know already, I'll go with Mohamed Salisu on the left, Daniel Amati on the right, then Alexander Jiku in the middle. So, Salisu, we saw his performance against Portugal. He did very well. That penalty wasn't a penalty. You know, yes, he was one of my best performers on the day. Then, um, Jiku wasn't also, you know, that super. But I think with the three man back, he will definitely be in the middle. Then on the right will be Daniel Amate, who was also very good against Portugal as well. So, this will be my three man back. Then, with the midfielders, um, okay, let me talk about the right and left fullbacks. The right, I'm going to give it to Tariq Lamte because, Tariq Lamte because, Against South Korea, we need to attack more than defending. You know, Ali Disedo is very good, solid in defending more than attacking. Tarek Lamte going forward will give you a lot of options, a lot of crosses, a lot of, um, you know, incisive passes. He is able to also take on players. So I think I'll go in with, um, that is Tarek Lamte on the right side position for the Black Stars of Ghana in the 3-5-2. Then on the left back, on the left wing position, I'm also going to give it to Gideon Mensah. Gideon Mensah in the sense that, yes, we have to attack. He is not a good passer of the ball in terms of sending new crosses and other stuff. But I think whenever Ghana needs to defend, he will defend. Because the likes of Son Heung-min can straight to his position in areas of which he might cause one or two problems for the Black Stars of Ghana. So, yes, Baba Abdurrahman is there. He is very good um, offensively. But defensively, we know that he lacks a lot. So, I will go in with Gideon Mensah on the left side or the left back for the Black Stars of Ghana. Now, with the midfield, the two pivots, I'm going to go in with the same one we use against Portugal. That is Salis Abdul Samet. Salis Abdul Samet, he plays for 
I'll say lost. We saw his performance from last stars of Ghana, very good. And um, he will partner Thomas Te Pate. Pate, yes, he was also one of our best players against Portugal. People actually bashing him like he didn't play anything and those things. You know, go and watch the game again. <laughs> Just watch Pate, decide to watch Pate alone. You get to know that, yes, he was good, even though he wasn't flamboyant. But I think Pate is good for Black Stars. So I'll go in with Salis Abdul Summit and Thomas Te Pate. Then, um, in front of them, I'm going to put Andre Dede Rami Morgan. Are you in there? The captain for the Black Stars of Ghana. Yes, I am feeling that um, we should allow Andre Ayu to approach the box or to go closer to the post because he's very good in terms of go, uh, you know scoring goals for Ghana, in terms of turning up for the big occasions, and um, you know playing this particular position, I wouldn't be that much comfortable. But looking at the two man up front, I think this is this will be the best position that he should be given. But this time around, I'm only hoping that he can go forward more to give us the goals that we will be needed. Daniel Kofichere is also an option for me, but I think Andre can start. Daniel Kofichere can also come on to play the rest of the game. So that is also um, for that. Then with the two man up front, I'm going to go in with Mohamed Kudus. Mohamed Kudus, yes. We saw him giving an assist to um, the captain for the Black Stars of Ghana, Andrea Yu, to score against Portugal. And um, yes, as of the time that most of us thought he was really into the game, that was when Otoado actually took him out. We understand he wants to manage his minutes, but hey, Kudus is always Kudus. So I'll go in with Kudus up front together with Inyaki Williams. Inyaki Williams is here to score for the Black Stars of Ghana, but the goal will eventually come as well. We are only hoping that it will come against South Korea. Yes. Um, he did well at the last embers of the game. He got an opportunity. He actually, you know, <laughs> picked that ball from the goalkeeper, but unfortunately, he fell and couldn't score that goal. So, in Yaki Williams, I'm going to partner him up front. So, this is going to be Atizigi, Dani Amati, Alexander Jiku, Mohamed Salisu, Thomas Pati, Salis Abdo Samet, Gideon Mensa, Andre Ayu, Tarek Lamte, Inyaki Williams, and Kudus Mohamed. Now, let me go in with the second formation that I'm talking about. The second one, then you will tell me which one you actually think will be right or who will be very good for the Black Stars of Ghana. The second one is talking of the 4 3 3 formation. Coach Otoado, we know him. He has also been going in with this kind of formation 4 3 3. So, which one are you going in for? Now, with the 4 3 3, yes, I have my goalkeeper in post already. I don't want to talk about him artistically. I think he will still be giving the nod to start. Then, Tariq Lamte will be my right back. Tariq Lamte will still be my right back. This game, we need more offensive works. Then, I'll use Gideon Mensah on the left back position for Ghana. Gideon Mensah should be on the left back position for Ghana to me. That's what I think. Because the four man back, you need some kind of shirt um, for the goalkeeper. And I think he can track back a lot to help. Then, with the two centre backs, I'll go in with Mohamed Salisu. And Daniel Amati. I'll go in with Mohamed Salisu and Daniel Amati. Salisu, we saw his performance. Amati, we saw his performance. I think the two have paired against Switzerland and it was okay. And I'll also give them the nod to continue. Yes, Juku can also be a strong contender in the position of Daniel Amati to me if we are going with a four back system. Now, with the three man midfield, or let me say the two pivot before the third man. The two pivot, I would still go in with Salis Abdul Samet and Thomas Teapati. So Salis and Pate will be my pivot. Then in front, I will put Andre. Are you the captain over there? So Andre, you will be in front of the two pivot. Then on the right side of um, attack, that's the right wing, I'm going to put um, Kudus Muhammad in there. Kudus Muhammad. Kudus, yes. Um, we know his performance already. I'm going to start him in there. Then, Kamal Adin Suleimana, I'll bring him to the left ring position. We were expecting him to play against um, Portugal. At least come on to have a feel of the game. He did not appear at all. But his qualities, his dribbling abilities, and um, you know, the way he can actually press, I want to see that from the Blasters of Ghana's team. Hence, I'm going to give him a start on the left wing position. If Ghana also decides to go with, with Osman Bukari on the left, well, I will not have any problem, but I would love to see more from Kamal Dean Suleiman. And then up front, of course, um, I think Inyaki Williams has done great to be there. So I'll use Inyaki Williams as my number nine. Some people can also make case for Antoine Semenyo to play in the case in the in the area of um that is um 
Kamal Abin Sulemana, that can also be good. So um, we only hope and pray that um, the coach will use at least a 4 3 3 or 3 5 2 kind of formation and we'll get to know how things will go. So this, we have Atizigi in post, Tarek Lamte, Gideon Mensah, um, Mohamed Salishu, um, Daniel Amate, Salis Abdul Samet, Thomas Pate, Andre Ayu, Kudus Mohamed, Kamal Abin Sulemana, then Inyaki Williams. I don't know. Which of the two are you going in for? Are you going in with the 3 4 3? Um, the 4 3 3, or you are going in with a 3 5 2 kind of formation? Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later. Please subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.